A mad scientist has invented a cure for aging. But every invention has a bloody price. She kidnaps ordinary girls to extract genetic material from them. In an effort to combat aging, Dr. Isabel Rubin leads a select team toward groundbreaking medical advancements, attracting wealthy individuals eager for youth rejuvenation. Mia, married to the business owner, uncovers unsettling secrets about this so-called miracle treatment. A skilled horse rider, Mia shares a deep connection with her horse, Carrot. Yet she ponders over the freedom she might be denying it. One night, seeking closeness with her husband, Thomas, she finds herself rebuffed. Descending to check the mail, she finds a letter from Isabel, Thomas's partner, revealing a photograph with 14,000 imprinted on what appears to be human skin. The next day, Thomas views an interview with Isabel discussing Resurrecta, a procedure aimed at reversing aging, currently available to men due to their simpler biological makeup, but with hopes to extend it to women. The interviewer questions the treatment's ethics and effectiveness, but Isabel counters by framing aging as a disease needing a cure. Thomas reaches out to Isabel for a discussion about these revelations. During a run, Mia encounters Nika, the neighbor's nanny, in her charge. Isabel joins them, complimenting the baby in Nika's hair, accidentally entangling Nika's hair in her ring. In the process of untangling it, Isabel covertly takes strands of Nika's hair. Mia leads Dr. Isabel Rubin to their home, discussing her own excellent physical shape when Thomas suddenly greets them at the door. He informs Isabel that their venture was meant to remain under wraps until they secured sufficient funding. Isabel counters, stressing the importance of being pioneers in this groundbreaking treatment, though Thomas points out that they're yet to move beyond phase one and are still in the trial phase. To sway him, Isabel presents before and after photos of a client, Peter, who has dramatically reversed an age which astonishes Thomas. Isabel argues that the wealthy aren't concerned with regulations or approvals, suggesting that financial support would then be plentiful. However, Thomas, as the company's proprietor, emphasizes his authority, insisting that Isabel seeks his consent before proceeding with any plans, which she begrudgingly agrees to. Upon departing, Isabel compliments Mia on her beauty. Mia retorts that Isabel might as well relay her compliments to Thomas, hoping he'd be more receptive. Isabel subtly hints at how Mia could grab her husband's attention. That evening, Mia dresses up enticingly, successfully drawing Thomas's interest and seemingly setting things on the right track. However, the moment escalates quickly, only for Thomas to suddenly withdraw, leaving Mia confused and hurt. He confesses his inability to fulfill her desires due to his infertility, exacerbating Mia's frustration, prompting her to storm off. While heading home, Nika is unexpectedly knocked into by a stranger. She tries to continue on her way, but soon collapses, unable to move. A van pulls up next to her, and she is quickly taken inside. Struggling to remain conscious, she hears the kidnappers mention they've used a cow sedative on her before she loses consciousness altogether. Back at their place, Mia and her husband reconcile with a warm embrace after her return. In the meantime, Nika comes to and listens as her captors complain about an unforeseen complication. Seizing the opportunity, she manages to escape the van and conceals herself in some nearby bushes until the vehicle departs. The following day, Isabel greets a potential client, Johansson, eager for the secret to youth. She insists he sign a confidentiality agreement before sharing details about their revolutionary procedure. Isabel then showcases successful cases to Johansson and outlines the payment required in cryptocurrency. The process begins with the collection of various biological samples, though Johansson's queries about the specifics are brushed aside by Isabel, leaving him feeling uneasy. Ultimately, she escorts the unsettled client out. Meanwhile, Thomas is blending his morning smoothie. Mia raises concerns about the legitimacy of their supplements, pointing out Thomas's veterinary background rather than a medical one. Suddenly, their door is pounded on, and Mia finds a battered and bruised Nika on their doorstep. Thomas notices the Mark D-17 seared into Nika's shoulder, which distracts him deeply. Despite Mia's request for a towel, Thomas first makes a phone call. Mia soothes Nika while Thomas suggests hospital care, eventually persuading the nanny to agree to hospital treatment. As dusk falls, Mia grows anxious and leaves a voicemail for Thomas, urging him to come home quickly. By evening, with Thomas still absent and no sign of Nika in local hospitals, Mia becomes increasingly worried. 
Then Thomas's car is seen arriving at a desolate building. The same man who abducted Nika the day before is spotted dragging her inside, with Thomas witnessing but not intervening. Mia, driven by worry, uses Thomas's computer to locate his phone and receives a text claiming Nika is in the hospital, which contradicts the location data. She then decides to drive out herself. Inside the building, Thomas seeks out Isabel to discuss Nika's rough handling by the so-called caretaker, referred to as Dog and his assistant, Pig. He mistakenly thought the women were volunteers, but Isabel brushes off the concern, mentioning it's only a temporary situation, to which Thomas responds with mild empathy. Isabel then diverts the conversation by showing him a photo of a woman named Ellie on her computer, ignoring his concerns. Seeing Ellie's photo, Thomas feels remorseful. Isabel then reassures him with a gentle touch and promises support. However, Thomas abruptly leaves amid Isabel's protests about not hindering their efforts. As he departs, Mia arrives and starts exploring a rundown building, narrowly escaping injury when part of the floor gives way. She continues her search and stumbles upon the supplements marketed by her husband's business. Following the sound of weeping, Mia encounters a woman being subjected to electric shocks by dog, while Pig ambushes her. After a brief struggle, Mia attempts to flee but is caught off balance and knocked unconscious by Dog. When Mia comes to, she's being hauled to a locked room by Dog. Meanwhile, Thomas realizes Mia has uncovered his location and informs Isabel, who confirms Mia's capture. Thomas then rushes back to the site. Dog demands Mia to change her attire under his watch. Despite her initial defiance, she reluctantly complies under duress. Seizing an opportunity, Mia tries to escape as the door opens but is quickly recaptured by Dog, who restrains her, silences her with duct tape, and draws her blood. He brands her shoulder with the Mark 34A, then callously treats the burn in a demeaning manner, causing Mia immense agony. Upon returning, Thomas searches for Mia and can confronts Dog, insisting she's different from the others. Dog coldly suggests that upcoming tests will reveal the truth. Isabel instructs over the phone to let Thomas spend five minutes with Mia. During their brief encounter, Mia initially shows anger towards Thomas but quickly becomes emotional. Thomas, instead of rescuing her, cautions Mia against attempting to flee by herself, warning of potential danger but assures her of a future rescue. He leaves and Mia is left crying. Isabel then confronts Thomas in the corridor, sternly advising him against meddling and threatening Mia's safety. She takes his phone and orders him to stay within the facility. Meanwhile, searches her surroundings for anything that might aid her escape. An alarm interrupts her as Nika is seen attempting to flee, eventually finding Mia and seeking her assistance. However, Pig abruptly ends Nika's escape with a brutal attack, and both caretakers proceed to clean the area nonchalantly, leaving Mia horrified. Isabel reconnects with Johansson, who, after witnessing the transformation of another, eagerly agrees to the enhanced price for the treatment, now 50% higher. Isabel continues her experiments, cautioning Dog against inappropriate conduct towards the subjects, emphasizing Mia's importance. In the meantime, Thomas manages to open Mia's door after several tries, reuniting with her. Remembering the photograph labeled 14,000 Mia inquires about her identity to Thomas. Thomas reveals that Ellie is a woman he encountered six months prior at a gathering he and Isabel were at. Isabel introduced Ellie to him as his kind of person. Thomas recalls the night as a haze, with Ellie expressing a desire to be restrained. The next memory he has is of finding Ellie unresponsive on the bed, with Isabel confirming her demise. Mia realizes the depth of her predicament, tied to the secrets between Isabel and Thomas. Following this, Thomas retreats to his own space, leaving Mia by herself. Shortly after, Isabel contacts Thomas to exhibit the latest advancement at their facility, a bio bag designed for growing embryos using purchased ovaries. She mentions ongoing issues, but suggests they can be resolved with the addition of the client's DNA. Thomas makes a dark joke about Isabel's potential longevity, to which she replies, hinting at the struggle to find a compatible partner. Isabel then persuasively reminds Thomas of their financial ambitions. Thomas forcibly takes Mia to meet Isabel, Dog, and Pig, stating that she's become a liability. Overwhelmed by emotion, Mia cries as Thomas agrees to Isabel's directive. A brief dispute arises over who should handle Mia, with Thomas insisting on taking the responsibility himself. He then feigns an attack on Mia, using it as a ruse to facilitate her escape. As they attempt to flee, the caretakers give chase. 
Thomas tries to hold them off, but is overpowered by Pig and knocked out, while Dog continues the pursuit. Mia, in her desperation, finds a car but cannot get it to start, leading to her recapture by Dog. Pig tells Isabel they've found a DNA match in Mia, leading Dog to halt his plans to get rid of her. Instead, Pig takes Mia for the procedure, where she's knocked out and later finds herself strapped to a surgery table. Isabel checks Mia's ovaries for a viable egg, proceeding to fertilize it with a client's sperm, visibly pleased with the outcome. Dog then relocates Mia to a different cell, where she encounters other women, some of whom are pregnant, including Ellie, who is surprisingly alive. Mia gets acquainted with Julie. Another woman, Helena, cries out in pain, advising silence. Mia shares with Ellie that Thomas believes she was dead. Ellie reveals she was deceived by Isabel into believing she would be freed for her cooperation. When Helena complains about a toothache, Dog ruthlessly extracts her tooth with pliers and silences her continued sobbing with staples. Ellie, unable to watch the cruelty, lashes out at Dog, who then assaults her, triggering her labor. In a panic, Dog summons Isabel. Despite the successful delivery, Ellie is denied any contact with her newborn, as Isabel takes the baby away immediately. Later, as Dog delivers supplies to their cell, Mia deliberately wets the floor, provoking his anger. As Dog enters the cell, Mia sees her chance and attacks him. Though initially overpowered, she manages to seize his knife and stabs him. But Dog begins to choke her. Just as Mia is about to pass out, Julie intervenes, stabbing Dog and allowing Mia to get the keys and unlock the cell, freeing them. The group, including Julie, Ellie, Mia, and the woman who hadn't spoken much, set off to find the baby. They come across a room with a terrible smell, and inside, Mia is horrified to discover the remains of infants treated with utter disregard. They are drawn by a baby's cry elsewhere, while Helena, showing compassion, tends to the injured dog, comforting him in his final moments. Meanwhile, Thomas, having regained consciousness, arms himself and starts unlocking cells, instructing the women he frees to release the others. In the lab, Isabel and Pig are engaged in a grim procedure on a newborn, halted by Ellie in the group's timely arrival. Isabel threatens the baby's life, leveraging the moment to flee, while Pig tries to fend off the women. Despite Pig's strength, Mia uses a chain from the wall to strangle him with the help of the other women, overpowering him at last. Ellie reunites with her baby, embracing him warmly. Mia, determined to confront Isabel, dodges the dog, who's on the hunt for her, hiding in a locker to avoid detection. Dog spots Mia hiding, but before he can act, Thomas distracts him. Dog tries to ambush Thomas, sparking a fierce struggle where Thomas is overmatched. Mia, breaking free from the locker, picks up a drop taser and stuns Dog, saving Thomas. Isabel, meanwhile, rushes to secure her research but encounters the liberated women, who ruin her samples in a fit of vengeance. Dog regains consciousness, finding himself bound inside a metallic structure, with Isabel tied nearby. Despite his attempts to intimidate the women, the quiet woman humiliates him in a manner reflecting his own past cruelties, provoking laughter and scorn from the group. As Isabel is freed by Helena to aid Dog, she opts for a drastic escape by turning a screwdriver on herself, ending her life amid the women who suffered because of her. The room falls quiet, mixed with emotions of sorrow and relief among the women as they process the end of their ordeal. Law enforcement arrives soon after, but the investigation hits a dead end due to lack of evidence and the influence of the men involved. Despite the circumstances, Mia vouches for Thomas's innocence. The couple manages to reclaim their tranquil existence, their bond strengthened by the trials they faced. Thomas demonstrates his changed nature by embracing Mika, Mia's child, into their lives, marking a fresh start for them all. The end. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like our channel and subscribe if you enjoy content like this. Also, let us know what movie you would love us to recap for you.